Night Football, Cowboys, Steelers. I've got a free play in this game, a moneymaker for you with analysis coming up in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, breaking down your Sunday night matchup between the Cowboys and the Steelers, 820 Eastern on NBC. Pittsburgh currently a two and a half point home favorite. The look ahead line a week ago was Dallas minus one, and now it's Pittsburgh two and a half even with the Steelers losing and the Cowboys winning. But I agree with that line move. I think the sharp money is on Pittsburgh and ding, ding, slight red flag alert. A little bit of a public lean towards the Cowboys as we head into the weekend. I'll buy official NFL fade the public video, of course, this weekend here on the channel. Hit subscribe, hit that bell for an instant alert when it goes live. But right now the Cowboys are a public dog in this Sunday night football game. And I do think this is a situation in which we look to fade the public. I like the Steelers here, minus the two and a half, and there's a few reasons why. First of all, last week the public was actually on Pittsburgh, and it's ironic because the week before they faded the Steelers at home, and the public dog was the Chargers. I gave that to you in my Fade the Public video, and uh, Pittsburgh won that game outright, of course, and covered. And then the public came right back, jumped ship, and got on Pittsburgh last week at Indianapolis, even though on the surface I thought that was a really bad scheduling spot. Of course, the uh, Steelers lost outright, and now, boom, the public is jumping ship again onto the other team, leaning towards the Cowboys here as a public dog. So I do think this is a good spot to take Pittsburgh, and because the Steelers are no longer a public darling this week, the line is 2.5 instead of that key number of 3, so we get some value as well. Nothing wrong with that loss last week in Indianapolis. On the surface, it was a very difficult scheduling spot for Pittsburgh after the high-profile game against Harbaugh and the Chargers after going 3-0 straight up and against the spread to start the season. That was their third road game in four weeks, and they still only lost by three, came up a little bit short. 2 nothing turnover deficit, I also think, was indicative of the fact that it was not a good scheduling spot for them. Uh, had they not had the 2-0 turnover deficit, they probably win that game last week as they gained um, 400 yards of total offense. Justin Fields playing excellent right now. He's really earning the starting spot with Russell Wilson out. I'd be surprised if they make the switch when Wilson comes back in a month or so if Fields keeps playing like this. 98 QB rating this regular season. 104 against the Colts, his best game of the year last week. 312 passing yards, and he should have success against a suspect Dallas defense. I think there's a chance the Cowboys are really down a notch this year. and Their point spread record kind of shows that. While they're 2-2 two and two straight up, uh, they've only covered one of their four games. Now, I know that Thursday night game last week landed right on five, and the line was anywhere from four and a half to five and a half, so either a win, push, or loss. Uh, but regardless, we'll call it a push. That's what I have in my official records, and they've only covered once, and that was the week one cover against Cleveland, which is not looking too impressive now as the Browns' offense has been really bad this season. In fact, since that Cleveland win, Dallas has not run for more than 80 yards in any of their past three games. Steelers, meanwhile, have rushed for at least – 114 yards or more in all four games this season. So I do think Pittsburgh will control the line of scrimmage, have the better rushing attack. And Justin Fields' numbers so far this year have been just as good as Dak Prescott's. And the Cowboys' pass defense is suspect this year, giving up 7.2 yards per pass against teams that average just 6.2. Steelers averaging, as I mentioned, Fields averaging right around 7 yards a pass. So I do think he'll have success throwing. Steelers the better defense. Good focus spot at home. Sunday night, national TV. You know it's going to be a raucous atmosphere in Pittsburgh. And minus two and a half is a nice number as well because it's a little short with the public on the other side on Dallas. Fade the public in this one. Take a look at the Steelers minus two and a half on Sunday night football on NBC. Hey, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this game. What other games are you looking at this week in the NFL? Where do you find some value? Throw in some player props, especially these Sunday night games. Player props are always popular. What are you looking at? Include some analysis if you have time. Let's learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. I do read all the comments and I reply back. Thumbs up, like if you're liking these free play videos. Thumbs up, like. Boom, do it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Also, make sure you subscribe to Wager Talk TV and click that bell for instant alerts. Not only when these free play videos go up throughout the week, but when my college football top 25 and my NFL fade the public videos are ready each weekend here during the season. And also, don't forget to check out my personal best bets on my page, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. 5-1 and one last week in college and pro football, 10-4 and four the two weeks before that, now in a 15-5 and five run, 75% the last three weeks on my client plays in college and pro football combined. So not a surprise that I'm ranked number one this regular season in profit so far this year in both college and pro football. And not a surprise also because entering this season, I was number one the last two seasons combined in ATS Units 1 for both college and pro football combined. Don't forget about baseball. The playoffs are here. We finished the regular season on a 31-13 and 13 best bet run in baseball. And the NBA starts in just a couple weeks. I'm number one all-time 
and NBA profit at wagertalk.com. So yeah, this is a pretty good time of year to be playing. Might want to consider an all-sports package. If you want to try one out, we do have a seven-day sampler this week only for just $77. No promo code needed. Seven days and nights of all sports for just $77. That works out to exactly $11 a day. I know you did that math. It wasn't too complicated. Lucky sevens. But also, if you're serious about trading this as an investment, as you really should, and you want to get that NBA, which starts in a few weeks as well, my number one ranked NBA all-time Consider an all-sports one-year package, and here's the reason why. First of all, it's the best way to treat this as an investment and win consistently, play every sport every day. One year is a great sample size. You've got to have some ups and downs, mostly ups, and we've had really nothing but ups here over the last few months. But it evens things out also. But most importantly, it gets the cost of investment down. And right now with promo code SM365, you're getting an instant $800 discount on the one-year all-sports all-access, which means it's just $3 a day, works out to just over a dollar a play. For every college and pro football, college and pro basketball, Major League Baseball best bet for the next 365 days and nights. It's quite simple. If I have a play, my clients get it as well. The exact same games I'm using and winning with each and every day. Same games I've used for the past 29 years as a full-time, professional, profitable sports betting handicapper. Keep in mind, though, if you want to try football only, there's nothing wrong with that. I know this is a football video. A lot of you are football bettors only. I do have a 30-day football package for this weekend with a special price, just $199 for 30 days and nights of college and pro football combined, my number one ranked college and pro football combined this regular season. And you can get that for just $199, but you got to have promo code FBALL30, FBALL30 for that special price. Now, look, you don't have to memorize all the different offers and promo codes. I know it's a lot to take in. Go to my page. They're all listed right there. You can see my daily best bets. You can see the last 20 best bets with analysis. You can follow along each and every day. We recap all the plays, win or lose, and also a daily free play. That's right. I post a free play almost each and every day of the week with analysis. Best bets, the daily free play, and right below that are the special offers and promo codes. So go check those out and figure out which package works best for you. But whatever you do, don't sit on the sidelines and watch any more winners pass you by. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. And get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on social media on X and Instagram at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L. At Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And be sure to stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free play videos coming up next.